Like a bucket list, we didn't know it existed. We're gonna watch Discovery. Good place? No. This is like the time of day when the kids go out of school. Oh my God, that store was infested. Lens has the sand, Belgium has the mud, and you hear from the back room, a lot of mud. It's just bigger. It's like twice the size of my other ones. And then every time there's a royal wedding, we go absolutely bonkers. Hey, hey, we're going to Linnea Strat today because we had an issue. I tripped over the pipe. <laughs> yeah, Friday morning he tripped over the uh, the drainage hose. Which is funny because it's not, I mean, it is draining it back there, but it's draining it from the basement up and out. It's, it's draining it by pumping it. So it's pulling it, pulling it up from below sea level onto the street level and then into the like sewer area. I think is all below sea level. No. Huh? There's a few places in Amsterdam that are like no, a meter or two. That water travel. No. We are at sea level right now. Oh, okay. The small little dike over there is at sea level. It is not freezing this morning. It is not cold. I mean, it's, it's, been, it's cold, but. It's been pretty warm for the last yeah, few days. Yeah, there's a, this, everyone's like, oh, like even Ed, like yesterday morning, he's like, well, you didn't move to the Netherlands for the weather. And I'm like, not that this weather bothers me at all. Yeah. <laughs> I go, I haven't had much of a weather culture shock. <laughs> like, he goes, does it rain a lot where you're from? And I'm like, right. oh yeah. Portland, known for rain. Seattle, known for rain. So it's not like we're living in a different area. Yeah, and it's a different latitude. It gets... By a lot. But because, now this is the absolute proof to us that we are six degrees north of where we lived before and we have very similar weather patterns because of the Gulf Stream. Yeah. I mean, and even England and Britain, you know, and I Ireland, not Iceland, Ireland are actually a little bit warmer because they have the brunt of it. Oh, hang on guys, my arm's like super tired right now. Not only is that my physical therapy shoulder, it's just like, <laughs> I, I feel kind of bad. So here's the, here's the things I feel bad about over the weekend. Losing my shit. <laughs> Two. Um, okay, we're good now. Now here's, a, here's a, like an offsetting penalties, I guess. I feel bad that I didn't have Aaron there to film the game and whatnot. But I don't necessarily feel that bad because he would have had to endure, endured Saturday which was like two practices and everyone was going all crazy and he would have been able to stand next to Meg and do stuff with her, but it would have been like, I have nothing to fucking do today. Yeah, to be fair, I had nothing to do while I was here, but I could play on my computer and I could sleep. Yeah, but then again, uh, the little check mark on a, on, well, what were you we saying? We're finding, we're finding the, uh, the uh, so, sorry, I had to cross and there's a lot of buses and stuff. There was the, uh, the unintended bucket list. Like a bucket list we didn't know it existed. Staying the weekend in a Belgian dude ranch. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that was on a bucket list, but I'm glad I checked it off. <laughs> so, and there was like, it was sort of like, people have the checklist of like, oh, I want to go see France. Well, we went to France. We saw France. We saw a French market. We listened to people speak French in a market and we're like, no, no, English. But being stopped on the highway because of French protests and being surrounded by black smoke because of burning tires and wood, not necessarily on a bucket list, but glad we checked it off, kind of. Yeah. Ow. Okay. Yeah, the, the camera's good for it, but I don't, nah. It's hit my eye. Camera's good for it. We're not. Oh, hello, Amstel. Hello, hello. There's something in the construction area. By the way, I went down and looked at the thing. They're not, they're not as glass panel-y as you made them seem out to be. There are glass walls, but they're not like full glass okay. panel or like what Burger King has. They're not like yeah. bay windows. They're something you'd expect for a shop on the inside. Oh, the smells in here from Albert Hine. We have 20... So what did you do over the weekend, real quick? I played a whole lot of Diablo and watched <laughs> a lot of Netflix. He watched Suits, by the way. Yeah, 
I had watched it before, but I only got through season one, I think. So I started on season two. We watched Discovery last night. We'll yeah. watch Good Place. Yeah, I was I sit down with my beer and I was like, we're gonna watch Discovery. Good Place? No. <laughs> we will watch Good Place later. Yeah. We are watching Discovery tonight. And I'm glad we did. It was yeah. a good episode. So I'll see you guys later today. We gotta get FUD. Yeah. Get checked in, get him on the train. So I have my baggy, my hamster hay bag. I'm going to Albert Hine and the dead butchers. I could do tacos. Can you ban that? I feel super dirty, like, even though because I didn't shave like Thursday or Friday when I probably should have. So it went the entire weekend and it was like, <sighs> yeah. Uh, we had some uh, sickly teal cl cloud cover earlier. Like, I came out of the bathroom after shaving and I went, looked at the windows and went, hmm. And like two minutes later, it hailed. And I was like, hmm, I can always tell the cloud cover when a storm's rolling in. Well, I'm getting myself some beer for tonight. Picked up that kind right there. It's really popular amongst the guys on the team. And of course, they also pick up like 24 packs. So I figured I might try the Trapel version of what they get, rather than just the regular beer version. And I was thinking of getting something else, but I'm not sure what or I had I, but they don't have anything strong that I can find. Okay, good to know. This is like the time of day when the kids go out of school. Oh my god, that store was infested. And I know that they're like, <clears throat> and they were probably like post high school. And a lot of them, because a lot of them were sitting there looking at beer with me. Very weird. So, oh. so I wore the wrong hoodie. It's my little blue one. So it has like no thickness to it. And it, I had to get my hamstring bag out of my belly pouch. So I wasn't able to close it. And a big gust of wind came by. I guess it's pretty amazing when you get the uh, resounding uh, agreement. When you're like, oh, I was in Belgium all weekend. Oh, for what? Um, sport camp we played the belgian team well how did it go well we won there's a lot of mud netherlands has the sand belgium has the mud and you hear from the back room a lot of mud and i'm like okay yeah yeah i think tomorrow i'm gonna go look around for a tripod for this thing just the little small one head out to medium mark so i swung by albert hein after the gym did legs as physical therapy and then I did 15 minutes of cardio on the elliptical. Uh, Coach Wes actually said cardio after strength training should work. And I'm like, well, if I do cardio on Mondays, Wednesdays, or Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, then have practice, I mean, I should really be doing cardio every day. But anyway, so anyways, I got this thing. It's called protein. It's in their smoothie section. Um, like on iFighton. Basically, I need a light, but not in front of the nail boutique. I think it's gonna look weird. Oh, here we are. Pure, 20% banana, 10% mango, mango, 9% passion fruit, water. Nobody's open, I can't read this. 24% pineapple juice and 4.5% coconut milk. And then soy protein, which is like soy protein powder, whatever. Uh, I don't actually know. It's 20, 250 milliliters, so it's not much. It's like buck fifty. Um, I mean, I had Drochaverse before I came down. This is just—I want to try it just in case, because it's you know I know that coconut uh, water and milk have a bit more uh, uh, potassium in them, and I may be a little low at my potassium. I'm not drinking a lot of milk and the coconut water is like the coconut water that I had was good but I don't <laughs> it, I just don't want to drink that much and the moment it gets exposed to air like after opening it it gets bad tasting which makes me think that they had a poor version of packaging it back in the states uh, if I could find a flavored coconut water I would I should actually look at that Albert Hein to see if they even have it. Uh, because this one also has some ball sauces. It's just bigger. It's like twice the size of my other ones. So, yay, nay, me. I probably will be major grocery shopping there. But if I need to pick up anything specific, I will definitely be. Oh yeah, I will. Heading home now. 
Aaron got off a little early, I think, because I was still at the gym when he was like, um, I'm on my way home now. I'm like, I don't really care. I'm gonna cook tacos. You're gonna watch, he's gonna watch a thing from Russell Howard, because it's, it's hilarious. We're American, so really we only know that the queen is a thing, and that every time there's a royal wedding, we go absolutely bonkers. But I've never actually really heard the queen talk, let alone Charles. So having Russell Howard do a, do his impression of Charles, it just cracks me up. Because I'm like, I, I can imagine. I literally, like, I've never really heard Prince Charles's voice, but to me it's always going to be Russell Howard's impression because it just sounds so perfect for the Queen's husband. So yeah, I will chat with you guys tomorrow. Uh, been a long video. Yesterday's was a long video, but that was a whole weekend wrapped up. Not just Sunday. <sighs> Sorry for the crying fit, but no, I'm not. I'm not. You watch this because you want to see my life. And I have anxiety and I have panic attacks and one of them happened. I'll catch you tomorrow. <laughs>